Hello, and this is a short video on how to get EF2000 version 2 to work in Windows 7. Now, I guess you've done this you, you've bought the game, you put it in, and you go to your DVD drive and you open it. And you click on install and nothing happens you get an error message because the installer works on a 16-bit operating system and Windows 7 is 64-bit okay I'm gonna tell you how to do it so you'll need some things you need to download and install EF2000 reloaded and you can get this from community.combatsim.com so you need to download that and install that and that will help run the, the program. Next you'll need to download and install Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 Service Pack 1 and it's a 64-bit version and there's a link there at microsoft.com and next you'll need a Windows 95 virtual hard disk that someone's uploaded and you can use and this one I've got here is from Imran Isaac and he's got a YouTube channel and a video about using virtual windows and there's a link to that video there and the link to his virtual hard drive is circled in red there okay so let's go back to the computer and as you can see I put the Windows 95 virtual hard disk on the desktop and EF2000 reloaded there as well okay we've installed Microsoft Virtual PC as well and let's start that up and you need to follow the instructions as exactly as I'm doing it so we're going to create a new machine a virtual machine we'll have other as the operating system we'll adjust the RAM size to 16 megabytes because Windows 95 doesn't recognize anymore we'll use an existing hard disk and if we go to the desktop and point point it towards Windows 95 virtual hard disk and then go next and then finish and then we need to click start and it should load up Windows 95 it seems daunting at first but unless you've got an old laptop kicking around which has Windows 95 then this is the only way you're going to do it so you need to click past these screens they're just error messages just ok everything and it will cancel No, we don't want to restart the computer, so ignore that message. No, we don't want to restart. And here we are. We're running Windows 95 inside Windows 7. And the mouse can't actually leave this window. So we click on my computer and see if we can load up the CD. If it doesn't work, then if you take out the CD and put it back in again then the install screen will come up and then you click on install for 3DFX now this bit is important so you need to click next and then click where you want to install it so this installs it wherever you like within that virtual hard disk so if you go to C Drive, Windows and Desktop, that'll be easy to find. And then we'll add on the folder name. We'll call it EF2000 version 2, full. OK that. We want to create a new folder. 
then go next uh, just follow the prompts yes next on this one as well now while it's doing that the only way to get your mouse outside of that window is to press Control, alt and delete to go to the task manager if you go to the task manager click cancel and then your mouse will be back to where it was on your Windows 7 desktop. So we've just got to wait for it to install. It'll create icons, but don't worry about that. Finish. And you can see EF2000 is a folder on a desktop. Now we need to get it out of this Windows 95 environment into our Windows 7 environment. So if you do the Control Alt Delete all together and your mouse is back in the real world, if we close it down, turn it off. We won't need to use that now ever again. Now, EF2000 is installed in our virtual hard disk, but we can't actually open it. So we need to mount it by doing this. So if you right click computer and click manage, go to disk management. It'll take a while to load, so bear that in mind. Now you can see all the drives that the computer recognizes, but the Windows 95 virtual hard disk isn't on there. So we need to attach virtual hard disk by going to the actions tab. Look for it on the desktop click on it and OK it and there it is it's appeared and it's also appeared down here as disk 4 so now we can actually go into the computer and go into the Windows virtual hard disk drive if you go into Windows desktop and there's that folder you need to copy or cut it out by right clicking on it and then pasting it on your desktop right, I'm going to pause the video here because if you haven't got EF2000 version 2 on a CD and you've backed it up on your hard drive then you'll need to mount the Windows virtual drive first copy your backed up install program from that CD <laughs> onto the virtual drive and then run it from inside the virtual PC but you must remember you must detach the drive before running virtual PC because two operating systems can't share the one virtual hard drive you'll get access and privilege problems alternatively and this is in theory you could burn the backed up EF2000 setup files back onto a CD and it auto run like what I've done anyway going back to here so we've copied EF2000 now we want to detach the virtual hard drive so if we go back into the computer management and disk management and scroll down to disk 4 right click and detach the virtual hard disk so now we're back to like back to normal okay so now we've got EF2000 installed on a 64-bit machine that's fantastic so if we go to EF2000 reloaded we will need to configure it so if we click on configure and we need to point this program to where EF2000 is so if you click here and go to desktop go to EF2000 and click on EF2000.execute it's not the other one where there's an underscore before it so it's this one click on that and now we need to think about configuring the sound drivers and everything these are my settings on the DOS box options it might work for you might not so save it first 
and then go back into it. This is what I do. Then go to configuration. And it will load up DOSBox and EF2000. So here's the configuration screen. OK this bit. Now go to preferences. Uh, put up the resolution, put the detail on high and the controls you can leave it at with the keyboard or select joystick. We have the sound effects on, speech on, music on and now we need to configure the MIDI and digital audio drivers. So go into that. We need to first configure the MIDI music driver. So go into that with enter. Select Creative Lab Sound Blaster 16 and attempt to configure automatically. OK it and then move down. Move down to audio driver and we'll select Creative Lab Sound Blaster 16 again and then attempt to configure automatically you can configure joystick here but I'm not going to do it here save it and ex exit right now Make sure the drop down is pointing towards the F2000 version 2. Click on the Eurofighter and it'll load it up. And there we have it. Well, I hope you found that video useful and long live EF2000. If enough people ask, the original creators maybe it could be uploaded onto steam powered or they'll re-release the cd because i'm sure lots of people would buy it to request permission to engage because it's such a great game and i look forward to lots of people uploading their videos and their adventures on this game as well okay until next time bye bye to intercept at 359 degrees 52 angels 1 2 spike